And welcome back. It's the first of Who Win of the Week with Who Wins. And this one comes to us from, and I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to pronounce the first name right. So I'm just going to use an initial. J Ball, who asked the question, who wouldn't have fight, Batman or the Hulk? Uh, now, oddly enough, this fight has actually happened before in one of Marvel and DC's crossover specials. Uh, and Batman ended up winning the fight. He won the fight by basically striking nerve points on the Hulk, uh, causing him to uh, inhale anesthetic gas and eventually knocking him out. But in a real, there's two ways to look at this fight. Batman with prep time and Batman without prep time. Uh, first off, we know that Batman can't physically take on the Hulk. Like, even his strongest foes, like Bane, are nothing compared to the Hulk. Uh, and now Batman's taken on individuals even more and beaten individuals more powerful than the Hulk. But again, that's with prep time, with special uh, um, circumstances involved. Against the Hulk, Batman, he's he can't do much. Again, he might be able to hold the Hulk off. Because Batman's done that with no prep time with other individuals comparable to the Hulk. Or better, stronger than the Hulk. Like Doomsday. Kind of more or less. Well, actually, no. Uh, DC's Hulk is known as Damage. That's his name. Um, but um, And he's someone who's actually strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. Of course, Doomsday is too. But yeah, so Batman, Batman could probably keep the Hulk at bay. But he couldn't beat the Hulk overall without some sort of prep time. And let's be clear, the Hulk that they used in that crossover is not the modern day interpretation of the Hulk, who is far stronger than that version of the Hulk. The Hulk is an individual who can lift a 100 billion ton mountain, and that's not even at his peak. Worldbreaker Hulk alone, when just by taking a footstep, was shaking and breaking continents, literally going to break the world just by moving around. And that wasn't even him at his max anger. Uh, Hulk theoretically has no limitations on his anger. Um, so therefore his strength has no limitations as well. Um, uh, so he's... Uh, so the Hulk is the Hulk is a very dangerous individual. Even if you, no matter what universe you frankly throw him in, he's he's a pretty dangerous individual. Uh, but there are individuals that take him down too. Is Batman one of those individuals? Well, here's the thing: with prep time, yes, I fully believe Batman can beat the Hulk because he would just develop a suit. He would basically develop his version of the Hulkbuster, is what he'd do. Except I imagine his version of the Hulkbuster would be more effective than Tony Stark's version of the Hulkbuster. Uh, and the reason I say that is because uh, Tony Stark's Hulkbuster has always been able to hold its own, but really never been able to beat the Hulk. Whereas Batman's bat suits designed for specific purposes have done what they've usually been able to do, what they've been required to do. What was it? The, the Justice Buster, when everyone got infected with the special Joker Venom. Uh, he nearly beat the entire Justice League just with that suit. If Superman hadn't been possessed or, by the, or basically influenced by the toxin, he probably would have beaten Superman too. And they still ended up beating him, beating Superman with kryptonite gum. Um, the, oh God, the, um, then not the doomsday, uh, bat suit. Oh, the one they used against doomsday. What was it called? Uh, bat, uh, bat mechs or bats. Hold on. I'm looking up the bat suits now. Cause that was, that's a very specific one. Batman, bat, uh, Bat or battle bat or bat battle suit, I think we'll call it. I'm trying to battle bat battle app battle suit. Suit. Uh, okay, let's see here now. Uh because I'm trying to oh okay. Oh wait, wait, is that the hell is that the hell bat armor? Is that what it is? Being yep, the hell bat armor, which enables him to fly, run at super speeds, emit massive energy blasts while also enhancing his strength and durability. However, it's not without limitations. The armor cons uh, cons uh, consequently consequently drains his st metabolism, which could uh, in turn kill him with excessive use. Apparently, that's not even his strongest bat suit. The strongest bat suit he's actually had um, is um, one, I think, is by the World Forger. Uh, I think that's what it was. And we never really even saw that one. Yeah, well, hold on. I think I'm... Uh, the final bat suit. Okay, bat the uh, Batman final suit. Okay, hold on. Batman finals it. Now, this is not what he's going to be able to use against Hulk. Not in this circumstance. Batman final bat suit. Final. Ah. Come on. Final bat suit. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, and it's a it's a badass suit too. It's a badass looking suit. Um, 
So let's see here. The bat suits, final bat suit. Okay. Uh, now, does this give me like the idea of how powerful it actually is? Uh, I mean, it's maxed out apparently in all its stats minus speed, which is barely not barely maxed out. Um, let's see. Come on, because uh, that's the problem. They don't really give a um, an idea of what the bat suit was really capable because he barely used it. It, it was all it really was all a ruse. Uh, when he was, you know, one suit to rule them all. Batman has consistently updated and changed his costume over the years, blah, 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 blah. Uh, anyway, the final bat suit's not going to be one we're going to be using here. If Batman were to develop an actual bat suit to fight the Hulk, he would ultimately beat the Hulk because that's just the way it, he, honestly, that's the thing. You might, might, you might make the argument that Tony Stark has more, has access to more. Re oh, okay. Here's a list of superpowers it has. Uh, Energy absorption, accelerated healing, adaptation, audio control, animal control. It pretty much has every superpower you can think of. Um, but point being is that Batman, well, technically speaking, because they I think they've ever, they once did a comparison on their fortunes, and Iron Man is actually, I think, the richer of the individuals. And we really actually see what they use their technology for. He's just got better tech overall, but Batman seems to function better. When you actually look at it, like Iron Man suits are always easily hacked. Um, they they tend to glitch a lot of time. They tend to like drain a lot of energy, but, and they don't always do what they're intended to do. Like the Hulk Buster is designed to put down or at least contain the Hulk. It usually fails at that. Batman's bat suits don't. Like, and we're talking about the armored bat suits, and even like especially suits. They do the function they're supposed to do, and they do it well. They're usually the only times they fail is due to like um, XX circumstances. Again. The, the, he wasn't counting on uh, Superman not holding back when he was using the Justice Buster. So, without a mechanized bat suit, Batman's going to lose the fight. He might be able to stall the Hulk until like Superman or someone shows up, but Batman's going to lose the fight. With prep time, Batman's going to win the fight 100% of the time. So now we're at a 50-50 crossroad here. So who do I ultimately give the win to? Well, let's let's paint an interesting picture here. Let's put Batman in the Justice Buster. I think that's what it's called. The Just I think that's is that what it's called? I'm gonna get that one up right now. Batman uh, Justice Buster? Justice Buster. Let's see. I think that's what it's called, right? Uh yes, that's exactly what it was called. So that's a you want to talk about badass looking suits, my god. Um uh, uh yeah, the Justice Buster. Now let me see. Yep, this is the right one. So the Justice Buster, um, Objective is most of the design the Justice Buster aren't ex, uh, ex, uh, excuse me the motive for designing the Justice Buster aren't explored in great detail as it's all about the action when it's unleashed. However, it becomes quickly clear that the Justice Buster was not constructed for lethal force, but rather to take some hits, stall them while Batman worked on getting the Justice League uncompromised. So essentially, it's not designed to really dish out lethal blows. But again, Batman's not one to kill. Normally speaking, like 95% of the time, he's not going to do it. Uh, so he probably wouldn't be trying to put the, kill the Hulk either. He could probably f figure out the Hulk is just, you know, someone that needs to calm down. We do not know what material metal that the Justice Buster is made of, or how, uh, made of, uh, how it, uh, or, uh, excuse me, or metal is made of how it's, okay, someone really messed up the sense. We do not know what material or metal it is made of, how, uh, made of how it is powered exactly. We also know that the suit was probably not capable of destroying the Justice League anyway. Scott Snyder uh, has said that about the Big Baller. I think one of the saving graces is that they're not completely at full strength because the Joker eye... Jo they are Joker eyes. They're always that sli there's always that slightly muted quality to them. Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, still, it, that, it's still an impressive machine, nonetheless. Binds a uh, basically he has a tech, he has something for each of the Justice League, and in this kind of fight, we'll view how that would work on the Hulk. Batman would basically come out. The bind the bind of veils is a relic made out of wool, allegedly made from Hef Hephaestus. At the same time, he made Wonder Woman's lasso of truth is an inverted version of the same weave of the wool, which with the comp uh, complete opposite power of the lasso. With the, wait, does that mean it, it forced you to lie? Uh, with the use of the binds of veil, Batman convinced Wonder Woman she had won, which allowed Batman, <laughs> allowed, uh, which allowed uh, to Batman just about her to get victorious. That's interesting. Wait, what? That that's what it does. He so okay. Wait, the uh, the inverse of the lasso of truth. So the lasso of truth, 
forces you to tell the truth. Does it, so you're forcing a truth onto the person. Okay, that's actually that's <laughs> that's more messed up than forcing the hear that makes that honestly makes it more powerful than her thing. The her lasso of truth. Holy crap. Um uh, so anyway, uh so if you use that on the Hulk, he could force the Hulk to calm down. The question is, is the Hulk strong enough to break that? Because the hypoth- technically speaking, Wonder Woman's lasso of truth is indestructible by any conventional means. But the Hulk's broken things that are indestructible before. So that's that's a tough call. I would say that he, he the Hulk, if he gets angry enough, could break it. But he uh, that Batman might be able to put uh, uh, may be able to calm the Hulk, uh, the Hulk down. So if he uses that on the Hulk and it catches the Hulk, I think Batman wins with that. So. <laughs> Servers frictionless coding the for the, used for the Flash. Uh, the Justice Buster has an onboard server that can map the Flash's movements if he isn't moving at 100% at speed. There are no details on FS the servers were or any software to do mapping, and he would uh, honestly be honest. Uh, all the information would not age well and pretty much be boring to read anyway. Um, anyway, the Justice Buster then shoots a frictionless coding, which makes the Flash. <laughs> fall down basically uh by slipping i remember that basically because he can't get any friction while um while um uh, running he just he can't run uh the hulk would probably actually find a way out of that though he'd probably just break the ground or stuff like because the flash isn't a super strong individual he's a super fast individual uh so he would probably end up um um he'd probably end up breaking the ground so he could move again uh, or just jump is what he'd do, uh, and or clap or whatever. So I don't think the the co- uh, frictionless coating would work. Uh, powdered magnesium carbonate foam for Aquaman. Powdered magnesium carbonate foam sucks moisture from Aquaman, so he as he struggles more and more. And that is uh, and that is that for Aquaman. Not much of a fight really, but Aquaman was not as best, and they were on dry land. I don't think this would do much to the Hulk. And it might hold uh, hold the Hulk up for a little bit, and absorbing the moisture out of the Hulk would dehydrate him, but I think it would just piss him off more. Maybe give him a headache or something. So, yeah, that's not going to work on the Hulk. Electromagnetic nerve tree. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, this is never shown and only mentioned. Justice Buster has apparently got an electromagnetic nerve tree installed to deal with Cyborg, whatever the hell that is. Okay, I guess Cyborg wasn't going crazy. I, it's been a while since I read the story, but I guess he wasn't going crazy. Um... That wouldn't do anything to Hulk, so moving on. <clears throat> uh, Citron Neuralizer, green for the Green Lantern. Okay. Similar to Electronic Mag Never Tree. Uh, it, the Neuralizer is a weapon mentioned but never shown. All we can speculate is that is something to do with Hal Jordan's brain. Yeah, that, see, that bl- bites because we don't know what it actually does. Uh, I have to guess it, like, it suddenly messes with his mind and causes a lot of fear for him. So, but then the Hulk will just rage out and he spans. So again, something that's not good for the Hulk. Now, here we go. Red Giants, Plasma Shield, Thrusters, and Thermal for Superman. We've saved the best for last as they're listing this off here. With the Buster Suits, Red Giants. And yes, you guessed they're found in the suit's fists. <laughs> of course they are. Ray Palmer devi- provided microscopic red suns from a dead solar system and placed them in the suit's fists to give them some extra wallop to a punch. The J-Buster has an onboard plasma shield to deflect Superman's heat vision and thrust and thermal to deal with the freeze breath. All in all, just, uh, the Justice Buster is more equipped to deal with Superman than all the rest. Of co- well, obviously. Of course, the shell of the Justice Buster itself is also anti-Superman piece of equipment that is capable of withstanding a, su- a Superman punch, which, let's be honest, while the Hulk may not have any real limitations, neither the Superman, unfortunately, the way he's written. So I would say that it could, pr- the, at least in terms of durability, it could take a lot of the Hulk's hits because the Hulk's going to, let's be honest, start out weaker than Superman would. Uh, eventually, he would, might get to that point where he could start really doing damage to the suit, but it will take a, the suit will take a lot of hits. The Red Sun thing is not going to be a huge fact. I mean, yeah, they still got the heat of a Red Sun, so it's still going to hurt. Um, the shields would definitely be able to deflect. So, I mean, the Hulk, it would definitely be able to brawl with the Hulk, no doubt about it. It will do um, what it's set out to do in terms of stalling and keeping it down. But the only one of these things that the Justice Buster has that could actually put the Hulk down or stop him, I think, is the Binds of uh, Veils. I think that one legitimately could stop the Hulk, as it seems because it's the imparting, it's the inverse of the lasso of truth where you get the truth out of someone, instead you you basically force a truth onto them. So, 
um, uh, yeah, um, uh, so that's the one that I think is a guaranteed, if he gets it on the Hulk, he could force the Hulk down. Everything else, the, um, the frictionless coating would annoy the Hulk and it would slow him down, but eventually wouldn't stop him. Uh, the aqua, the magnesium carbonate foam, the electromagnetic nerve tree, the citron neuralizer wouldn't really do anything. And the, basically the dread giants, the plasma shield, the thermal thrust, it would definitely stall the Hulk and maybe even hurt the Hulk quite a bit, but ultimately it wouldn't be something that puts the Hulk down. But I think given all what everything put together, I think it could stop the Hulk. I think it could have stopped the Hulk. So ultimately I'm going to give the win long term in this fight to Batman because he seems more readily available for things than someone like Tony Stark is. And again, Tony Stark's Hulkbusters do well against the Hulk, but they never put the Hulk down. The Hulk always just overpowers them eventually. Um, you know, give me one sec. I want to be I want to be sure I'm not talking on my ass on that one. Has the, I want to see if the Hulkbuster has ever beaten them. not including the MCU, which it clearly did ultimately beat the Hulk. Um, but that's a that's the one that, that that's a movie. Okay, that's that's a dumb argument, but you get what I mean. Is like that that circumstance is set up for the plot. They're all set up for the plot, to be fair. But you get where I'm coming from, the MC. So, Hulkbuster. Let's see here, Hulkbuster. There we go. Has the Hulkbuster? Whoop, there we go. Well, I'll get there. There we go. Has the Hulkbuster? <laughs> I like that. Uh, has the Hulkbuster ever worked? Uh, that's a good question. Let's find out today. Um, so, uh, yeah. The suit itself, well, okay. With the latest, uh, leaked news of Avengers showing, I'm, oh, wait, is this, when was this? Oh, this is from five years ago. Of course, then again, I don't think he's used the Hulkbuster in years. The suit itself was supposed to bust the Hulk. It was never meant as a deterrent. It's used in the event the Hulk goes a bit bonkers than usual, and they need to buy some time. Uh, the Hulk, Stark knew it wouldn't win a fight, but it would be enough. Okay, but yeah, that's in Avengers. That's not in, um... That's not in the comics. Uh, some other, uh, so give me a second here. Has the Hulkbuster ever? Let's see. Uh, okay, there we go. Is the Hulkbuster strong enough? Don't worry, Jubilee. The Hulk is still the strongest there is, and I would certainly expect a rematch on big screen to prove it. Hulkbuster was designed to fight against the Hulk. It's designed as a way to resist the Hulk smash. But it can also hurt the Hulk. Yeah, I don't think the Hulkbuster has ever beaten the Hulk, whereas Batman suits had generally done what they need to do. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to give the overall wins to Batman. That's where I think the overall wins are going in this fight. But, again, these two meet on completely neutral ground. Batman could stall the Hulk, I bet, because he deals with plenty of angry, raging guys all the time. Just mus giant muscle of monsters. But Batman would lose in an actual fight. Again, we're not taking into that crossover because that crossover had very, yeah, very specific circumstances to it. And Batman did win the fight, but again, specific circumstances and not the Hulk that we currently have. Uh, the Hulk that we currently have would be a much different beast for Batman to handle. Uh, so, ultimately though, I do think the Dark Knight does come out on top just because of what he has available. And again, if he had to build a specific uh, like bat suit to fight the Hulk, it would probably be more effective than what Tony Stark has, uh, has to deal with. So, ultimately I go Batman. But what do you think? You think I'm just talking out my butt? Let me know. <laughs> Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, it's the week of Who Would Win. So, you know, as always, ideas for Who Would Win, Star Wars, Super Magic, whatever. Anything I do on the channel, put that down in the comments. But it's the week of Who Would Win, so you go to Who Would Win every day. And it's gonna, this week of Who Would Win is going to go on pretty long. It's going to go all the way into April, uh, like the beginning of April. Uh, because, um, or beginning of April, the end of April and beginning of May. Uh, just due to the fact that the April... Uh, ends i think on a thursday this year so it just made sense for me to just continue it out into there uh until then thank you for watching and i'll see you next time have a good one